Sir James Dyson by Alan Bradshaw Coming home, young James Dyson would then, as a rule, discuss subjects that he had got keen on at school. One day it was cyclones that he had become obsessed with and chewed with his dad and his mum. At his granddad as well, there whose wisdom was sparked, now it sucks like a cyclone, his granddad remarked. They digested this one, then upswake his dad. We don't see much of cyclones around Cromer, my lad. I should hope not, said mum, who'd been washing that day. A cyclone will blow my washing away. I know how they're made, James was proud to impart. I'll go try and make one, a small one to start. And everyone smiled at his childish intent, as off to his room he excitedly went. For though he sat sucking his pencil for hours, he found it beyond his then juvenile powers. But he never gave up until manhood he came, still determinedly aimed at his goal just the same. He was quite a grown up when at last one late night, he suddenly found out as he'd got the thing right. He'd made a small cyclone that sucked at his room, about three times the suck of a normal vacuum. And the words of his granddad rose written in gold, now it sucks like a cyclone, his granddad had told. So his cyclonic cleaners James started to sell, they sold like hot cakes and they went down so well, that the oodles of oof just poured in every minute, his mattress had lumps so much cash was stuffed in it. And he got so well known that it had to occur, it would only be right then to make him a sir. Then as to Queen were waving a sword round his head, she gave him a wink and well done lad, she said. So now he is rich, he is famous and knighted. You can bet your last bob that Sir James is delighted.